I'm going to need to make a movement. What's good, Power with Director Peeps? Today, I'm going to bless you all by showing you how to make camera movements in post production using Power Director 17. If you've been wondering how to create camera movement while editing your videos, I want you to put hashtag camera movement in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director 17. Fake camera movements create a sense that the camera is panning, tilting, or zooming in on a particular scene. It's a great way to make static shots more interesting, especially when you're shooting as a one-man band. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make fake camera movements for your videos. Let's fake somebody out. As you can see, there are two clips in the timeline. The first one is some fellas getting a drink on. Chilling, doing what fellas do. And the second one is a bartender pouring one of their drinks. And you want to create some camera movement on both of these clips. So let's go ahead and move the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline by pressing the home key on the keyboard. And on the first clip, you want to create a pan across the scene. So let's go ahead and left click on the first clip and then press F2 on your keyboard to open up the PIP designer. The first thing that you want to do is go over to the TV safe zone and toggle that on. So left click on it and we'll go to TV safe zone and then we'll go to on. This creates a frame that lets us know whatever is in that frame is visible. We need that to do the effect. Now, the next thing you want to do is zoom out so that we can move things around a little bit better. So click on the zoom out button until you get to a percentage that you like. And I'm going to go down to 51%. Now we need to go ahead and frame this up so that only the part of the scene that we want to pan across is in the TV safe zone. So I'm going to place my cursor over one of the nodes until I see a line and two arrows. Hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this out. Now I want to go ahead and place it in the position to start the pan across the scene. So I'm going to place my cursor onto the video clip until I see a crosshairs with arrows on all four sides. Hold down my left mouse and then I'm going to drag this over to a place where I want to start panning across the scene. And I think that looks pretty good there. The next thing I need to do is click on the position keyframe to enable and add a keyframe at the beginning. This our playhead is at the beginning. If I click on this button, it will add a keyframe right where the playhead is at the beginning. So this is the beginning of me panning across the scene. Now, the next thing I need to do is move my playhead to the end of the scene because I need to create a keyframe here where I want everything to stop. So what I need to do then is move everything over to the left so that I stop somewhere here on the end of the scene. And in order to move it over to the left and make sure it doesn't move up or down, I'm going to use the left arrow on my keyboard. That'll just make sure that all it does is move directly over to the left. There's no shifting up or down. So I'm going to hold the left keyboard arrow down and let this go across the scene to the position where I want the pan to stop. And that looks pretty good there. Once I have it in a position where I want it to stop, I need to enable another keyframe at the end where I now have the playhead. So I'm going to click on add keyframe. And so now I have a keyframe where it starts and the keyframe where it ends. Now I want to see how this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now I'm going to click on play and take a look and see how it pans across the scene. Fantabulous, darling. Fantabulous. Now you want to create a slow zoom on the second clip. But before you do that, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Now, 
Let's get back to the breathtaking tutorial. Now, to make that slow zoom, you need to left click on the second clip and then press F2 on your keyboard to open up the PIP designer. Now, if you haven't turned on the TV safe zone, you need to do that at this time. So you click on that and go through the same rigmarole that I showed you a minute ago. And what you need to do after you do that is you need to zoom out on the clip again. So zoom out to whatever percentage you want. I'm going to go down to 71% in this case. First thing we need to do here is create a position and scale keyframe. So we're going to click on add a keyframe for position. And then we're going to click on add a keyframe for scale. So this locks in the scale and the position at the beginning of the clip because our playhead is here at the beginning where we added those keyframes. Now you want to move your playhead to the end of the scene where you want the zoom to be zoomed all the way into the position that you want. You want to place your cursor on one of the nodes to go ahead and see the line with two arrows. Then you want to hold down your left mouse and you want to drag this out to a position where you want it to be zoomed in. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing at the top here. And when you do that, it automatically creates those keyframes at the end. So you see that I have a position and a scale keyframe already here at the end, just from moving the clip where I wanted to move it. So now you go ahead and click on OK. And you want to click on play to see how this looks. And we should have a beautiful little slow zoom or zoom zoom. Nice. And that's how you make fake camera movements using PowerDirector 17. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.